amazing. The disruption that's happened to these students at SCA is ridiculous. Imagine if you're studying with them in chemistry just like next door. Imagine you had to go study agricultural chemistry. You had a great six months of being closed. You wouldn't be allowed to continue this campus. You'd have to go study uh, out where Dr. James Roos is, out where somewhere, and do field research. That's what happened to this art school, and these students were fucking pissed off and understandably so. What do we do? Basically, in the last couple of months, uh, the university has announced to us that they were, first of all, going to merge out with UNSW um, without coming to a compromise of the two courses, which are largely, largely different. And um, we, we protested against that and won that battle. And now they've told us that we'll be moving campuses to the Darlington campus, um, which will mean a lot of staff cuts. Um, facilities will be will be st um, like minimised, and a lot of the courses will be dropped. Basically, uh, a couple of studios like glass making and jewellery and ceramics are going to potentially be shut down because the new facilities at the main campus are not going to be able to hold that. Um, that's a bummer because Sydney SCA is the only school or university that offers. Um, glass blowing and we've got a lot of equipment in the ceramics that's you know it's top of the line but it, is, you, it just won't be able to be moved because of the nature of it um, so unfortunately that's that's a reality also whilst they move they've stopped an intake for 2017 which is pretty detrimental to the learning environment because uh, is fueled by creating with others, others around you and being influenced by other artists. So, you know, they put at risk um, a lot of influence within the creative process. Students at two of Sydney's major art schools are in uproar over threats to their historic campuses. At the Sydney College of the Arts in Roselle, students have downed their brushes and are in a second week of an occupation. Under immediate threat is the Sydney College of the Arts at Callan Park in Roselle, which Sydney University wants to transfer to its main campus near the city. Right now about 25 students are storming the admin building, that's what they're calling it, at the Sydney College of the Arts and securing the exits. So this may seem like a pretty drastic option, but the students say their previous attempts to get the university's attention have been ignored and they're worried that if they don't act now, they'll lose their school. Now the plan is to fold it into the university's main campus. The students are angry that their specialist space will be shut down. They'll also lose about half the teaching staff and several courses will no longer be on offer. Uh, it's the, the tactics of the campaign have just been gradually escalating. The more um, that we weren't being listened to, the, the greater we had to go. So um, having a, a fantastic uh, red cake protest is a more or less silent vigil outside the art gallery in New South Wales during the actual prize presentations. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic run and that image lives as a performance artwork um, forevermore. It's been well used. Um, after several rallies and still no good faith negotiations, uh, we, we had been thinking occupation at some stage would be necessary and um, it seemed like a good place to start occupying was the admin block here because it was um, fortifiable and it would um, send a good clear message to senior management over at New Sid that we weren't um, just weren't going to go like easily or quickly. Mm. And it's just been fantastic, um, much, not only much longer than we expected, but immediately the increase in um, media coverage and all kinds of people that came out in support of us 
uh, yes, it, it's worked far better than we could have hoped. Hey, Beauty! Hey, Beauty!